Hey guys, it's Erin, and I am so excited to be back and sharing with you this new collaboration. Um, music is so huge in my life. It is such a big part in my life, and so when Michelle told me about this collaboration and if I wanted to do it, I was like, heck yes. So, um, it, as you know, it's uh, Mickelnay and Art Girl Creations. I will link both of them down in the description box below for Instagram and YouTube. But what we're doing is taking this awesome record journal. This is what they used to store the 45s in. So it's got these little cool pockets inside, the little sleeves where they used to store the records. Um, and then we thought it would be fun to do uh, use this for our collaboration. Now, every Friday, um, the one of us will do a video. We will alternate. We'll choose a, one of our favorite songs. We'll do a video. And then you guys have all week to uh, do a page and create. And if you want to play along with us, you definitely do not have to do it in a journal like this. You could do it in any journal. Just be sure to use the music to art to hashtag on Instagram so that we can see all of your beautiful art. Now, Michelle has a video up and so does Jenny, and these are the uh, pages that I did for them. You don't have to do the song that we chose, although we would love for you to at least hear it and uh, you know, kind of get to know us through the music that we've chosen. And so today we are gonna get some Crazy With Color, and I can't wait to go on this journey with you, so let's play. To begin, I'm going to go ahead and take a piece of palette paper that I cut um, to fit inside of my journal. I'm just going to push it in the pocket there, and that is going to help so paint doesn't get onto the back side of the page or seep through the rest of the journal. And then I also have a baking sheet here um, I cut in half. I used to I love this for a palette paper, but also to put behind my journal, and then that way paint doesn't get onto the rest of the journal. To cover up the side of my page that's done, because I really don't want to get it messed up, I'm just going to take a piece of plain white paper and some masking tape to tape it down, and we're going to get crazy with the gessos. Now while I'm gessoing this, um, this is going to reinforce this, but I wanted to tell you a little bit about the song that I chose. I chose Love Myself by Olivia Bryan, and I will say there is some explicit lyrics in there. So watch yourself, but I would love for you guys to listen to it because seriously, this is like a power ballad, like we should all scream it from the top of our lungs. It just makes you feel so good. So once you have this gesso dry, we're going to throw on some color because this song makes me feel like color. So I'm going to speed it up, and if you have any questions about the colors or the products that I use, please let me know in the comment box below. Let's get to it.
this in the beginning didn't turn out so bad. So I originally had this brilliant idea of using some string and make some string art with our journal page here um, because we have that cool circle in the center. So I grabbed some black embroidery floss and a needle and I was going to attempt to bring this creation to life. Now, when you guys have these visions, <laughs> stay open to how um, the process is. Like, don't just go, oh my gosh, it has to look this way, or I'm gonna be heartbroken. Like, just kind of roll with it and see where it takes you. Um, I got a little frustrated at times, but I was like, just keep going, and I really like how it ended up turning out. So I knotted it and I'm bringing the string around. Now the beginning pocket here is kind of hard because I didn't want to put the needle through it, but I couldn't get the, if the floss to stay put. So then I thought, you know what, I'm going to grab some masking tape and I'm going to tape each of these up. So while it was a pain in the butt, um, I did turn on some Netflix. I watched a show and I luckily sped all of this up for you guys so you didn't have to endure the pain of what this was but seriously sometimes art needs to uh, take that extra couple minutes to really come together the right way I liked the the effect of it maybe you don't want to go this crazy but I think it's fun to bring some of the sewing and the stitching into the journal page so I'm gonna throw some music back on and <laughs> let's get crazy with the stringing love how it turned out it's kind of grungy it's got like the starburst effect with all these strings extra hanging I just re I really like how it turned out so I'm happy with all that extra time now I have a piece of white cardstock here and I'm just gonna stick that inside of the pocket and mark where the top is so I can cut that off and we have our hot pink little uh, pocket opening showing and then where the middle of the circle is so that way um, my sentiment will fit nicely in the middle so I'm gonna cut that off now, what kind of music is your guys' favorite? Like, do you have a certain song that when you, you know, you're sad or when you're happy, you just gravitate towards? Um, I feel like I, sometimes my life is like, you know, it could be a musical and I always imagine what song would be playing at any certain moment. So here I have a red paper clip that I've decided to kind of pull apart and make a little heart out of. And then this, you guys, etoile. Oh my gosh, it's sparkly embroidery floss. Look at this. I just had to own every color in the set. I just, again, rainbows make me happy and so do sparkles. So I think I'm gonna use this pretty hot pink color and I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this around our heart and this is gonna go in the middle of our starburst to put our sentiment on top.
And to finish up today's page, I'm going to take some matte medium and stick that onto the back of our sentiment stickers. That's going to make sure they adhere a little bit better to the floss and for longer as well. I'm just going to futz a little bit here with the placement. Um, I also did take a silver gel pen and just kind of drew around those words to help them pop a little bit more. Today's page was one of those pages where I had this vision in my head and while I was in the process I thought there's no way this is going to turn out but it did and it's even better than I thought it could be. It's grungy, it's colorful, it's sparkly and it's totally me. Thank you guys for hanging out with me today. If you enjoyed the video be sure to give it a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed already go ahead and do that. I would love to have you come along the journey with me. And also check out at Mickleday Michelle and Jenny at Art Girl Creation 78 so you can see all of the record art fun that they are creating too. Don't forget to take a little bit of time for yourself, throw on some music, and get artsy. And of course, love myself, or rather yourself. Thank you again for checking out that song. And until next time, happy creating.